what is up and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing another renovation for my renovating willow creek series which i will be renovating all of the ea towns and the houses for my save file in case you're new to what's going on here but yeah so today we are doing another one of these little starter homes in case you haven't noticed the trend i'm bouncing around from like the little neighborhoods so we have like the uptown neighborhoods we have the more modern like or not modern that's totally wrong the more family styled houses you know where the pancakes live and then we have this little neighborhood over here which is typically like these smaller starter homes so today we are doing the crick cabana house which is basically one of those shotgun style houses that you know i just really wanted to keep that context to the or the context that that's the wrong word that image that style that style there you go there you go currents i get it together um the style i really wanted to keep that shotgun style for this house because i don't know i mean they're not shotgun style houses aren't typically cute but like you can make them cute and we're renovating and we're doing makeover so we're just gonna roll with it and try to make it cute and honestly i think it turned out so freaking cute i was considering putting a little side door kind of like i did with the other starter home the daisy hovel and i don't know i just shotgun houses don't have little side doors i don't think and then of course it's such a small lot i had absolutely no room for a back door so we don't have a another entry door we just have the front door which that's fine with me and this landscaping y'all i cut out probably kid you not six or seven minutes of me because i was so indecisive with the landscaping i was trying to do a little flower bed and i just could not do it i hate landscaping um as much as i watch speed bills and try to get like inspiration from other people i just i i'm, I'm not comfortable with landscaping yet so i, I did what you know I, I could do and then also i cut out about 20 minutes <laughs> of me trying to figure out a four a four a four plan a floor plan uh, i wanted to do something like different um than what i've seen with this style house i really wanted to like change it up obviously there is no room for more than one bedroom it's very very small so i i struggled but i think it turned out really really nice um and when i was going for the interior I was kind of, you know, going off of that, um, what am I trying to say? You know, that old timey antebellum, but it's just not an antebellum house. It's like a shotgun style house, but you know, the architecture that I've talked about in every renovation I've done so far in Villa Creek, that New Orleans style, you know, old timey vintage vibes. That's what I was going for. And it turned out kind of grandma-ish. But that's okay because I created the freaking cutest couple and they're like little elders and they're so cute. I never, ever, ever create elders just to put, you know, in my little games, my saves. You know, sometimes I go into the gallery and snatch some families that are really cute. So my Sims have friends. I just, I don't ever play with elders for real. Usually when my Sims reach elder age, like in my personal gameplay, I kind of like... I don't know if it's the I can't bear the thought of them dying or I just I get bored with elders so I I, I usually just kind of scrap it <laughs> and uh start over which is which is awful but and I, I never like add elders like I said into into my saves just I mean that's just really sad it's like the elders are getting no love but they're actually really freaking cute and so after you know the style of this house came out in the interior i was like this looks like a grandma house so i was thinking i could make a single grandma like a cat old cat lady but no i really wanted to make like that otp you know that couple that the old elderly couple you know you see them on facebook we'll share them you know y'all know the little video of the grandpa pushing the grandma on the buggy and like you know like have a little kid stand on it and then you're being pushed you know y'all know what i'm talking about that's what i imagine this this little this little family this little elderly couple they are just like goals you know they've been together for such a long 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 time they've endured through all the hardships that marriage and life you know threw at them and they made it and of course you know since i want the save file all my sims and the families to have like relationships and inner you know interact with each other and everything i do want them to have like grandchildren and i want them to have you know their kids elsewhere um obviously not living with them there's no room but i haven't created them yet i'm not even really sure where which neighborhood they're going to be in yet but yeah i don't know i just imagine this being like little grandma's house and you know they 
they, the kids, the kids, the grandkids come over and visit grandma. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. I just think, I think it's really, really cute. I, I love the little bay window right there in the kitchen. I don't know. It's just very cozy and very homey. Um, so, yeah, I imagine that she would be just like a foodie, a foodie sim. You know, she's a, she's a grandma, you know, that grandma homegrown cooking. You know, you go to grandma's house and you leave with the, the butter bowls. <laughs> Maybe that's just in the South, but like, you know, I don't know about y'all, but nine times out of ten in the South, when you leave Grandma's house and you, you she's cooked, you don't leave in like normal, with normal Tupperware that you get, you know, Walmart. No, it's like old butter bowls that you rinse out and you, you save that ish, and that's our Tupperware down here in the South. So, I imagine the grandkids just coming over to Grandma's for some good cooking and leaving, bringing home some butter bowls, <laughs> leftovers for the parents, but yeah, I don't know. I also imagine her being like a cat lady, so like towards the end, I'm not there yet, obviously, but towards the end, you see me add, um, some like cat furniture and stuff like that just because I don't know why is it stereotypical to relate grandmas to cats I don't know but I did so she has two cats they're really cute their name is Cece and Tammy her name is Catherine this is oh, this is the Mac Ma, Mac I don't know how to say their last name wow Mac Mahon family Mac Mahon fam, Mac Mahon I don't know it just looked good I don't even know how to pronounce it but uh, yeah her name is Catherine and then um, her husband his name is Benjamin y'all he is so freaking cute uh, <laughs> He, he aged well. I know that's so creepy. I'm like hitting on a grandpa, but like, mm, he's very good looking. And then I, um, I, I aged him down to a young adult and he's a snack. You know, y'all know my obsession, like my pixel thirst problem. Oh, he looks good. He's a zaddy. <laughs> he's a grand zaddy. He's very good looking, <laughs> but he's so cute. He wears like a little, I don't know, would you call it like a fedora hat? No, it's not a fedora. What are those little old timey looking hats that the the old men wear and like they wore in the old days I don't know like the news the newspaper looking hats y'all know you know what I'm talking about I don't, probably not anyways you'll see I think he's in the screen one of the screenshots at the end um but yeah he's just like an old soul obviously because he's old <laughs> but he likes to paint so in the bedroom um it's kind of like antique looking um I gave him the antique um easel I never ever use that easel um, <laughs> just because I think it's something that you have to unlock so my personal gameplay when I get my sims an easel I never use this one but I love 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 the way it looked and it just blended so nicely with the rest of this house just that old vintage antique theme so yeah I just imagine him being like a painter he's just very romantic you know he loves his wife he loves his family um, obviously they downgraded to this smaller house because they have already raised their kids and you know why do they need a big old house for just the two of them so they're like in their retirement age neither one of them have a job but he likes to paint and stuff like that so yeah I don't know it's really cute very nice and um also <sighs> y'all know me I'm always trying to squeeze laundry rooms into the house because it's just realistic your sims got to do their laundry they got to <laughs> so I've been trying to squeeze it into the bathroom which was let me tell you it was hard I think I cut out okay probably 30 minutes of me going back and forth trying to make it functional and I almost gave up I almost did not even give them a washer and dryer because I did not see how in the world I was going to make it fit but your girl did it I finally figured it out it is functional I tested it it's just very tight for space I had to put the cat's litter box underneath the sink because I had nowhere else to put it which you I mean if it's I doubt it's functional I haven't tested it yet but well you know, I don't have the controllable pets mod in, so I couldn't have the cat go try to, to TT in the litter box. But if you notice that your cats can't pee in the litter box, you can easily move it to anywhere else. But, you know, I just, I thought it looked cute there. And, I mean, I don't want to go to somebody's house and see their freaking litter box and cat turds chilling in the entryway of the living room. You know, it kind of makes the house stink. So, <laughs> yeah, I did what I could with it but anyways here I am doing the entryway so I gave them the little coat rack which I love that came with seasons and it's so cute um I, this is where at the point I decided to make her a cat lady <laughs> but yeah I don't know I think it all turned out really really nice like I said usually they're not flattering these shotgun style houses but I think it turned out really 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 freaking cute um 
and I don't know, I think it fits the family, the McMahon, McMahon family, <laughs> I don't know how to say their name, very, very well, um, so yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it for the house, I'm, I'm done, I'm done talking about the house, but it's really kind of a short bill compared to the usual, so y'all should be proud of me, the majority of it was explaining the build and the family, but yeah, anyways, another note, how are y'all doing? Y'all, everybody is at Sims Camp, or, you know, all of our favorite little, our little YouTubers and Simmers are at Sim Camp, and oh, I'm jealous, but, like, I'm so excited for them, and, but I wish I could be there. Like, goals, honestly, goals to be an EA Game Changer and go to Sims Camp. Can you imagine, like, one day going to Sims Camp and meeting everybody that inspired you to start the Sims channel, your own little Sims channel? Oh, my gosh, it would be amazing. Like, that is goals. I know that's all of our goals. But anyways, I'm excited to see what they come back with because, you know, they're going to be able to ask questions for us and show us some things, which, yeah, I'm super-duper excited about. I'm looking forward to that. I've been keeping up with all of them, like, on their Snapchats and their um, Instagrams and whatnot, you know. <laughs> anyways, y'all, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now because it's, like, wrapping up and nobody wants to listen to me ramble anymore. But, yeah, if you want to go ahead and download this house it will be available for download on the gallery stay tuned for the save file coming in a hot minute because it's gonna take me forever to finish but yeah thank you guys for watching the screenshots will be at the end and you'll be able to see Catherine and benjamin and maybe their cats maybe only one of them's pictured i don't remember but yeah thanks for watching i'll talk to y'all later